Hey guys, it's your girl Leah. I am back and ready for another video. First video of 2022. I am excited. I am pumped for this year. This year is going to be full of good things, hope and faith and just everything. <laughs> so I am ready to go. Um, I did do my eyebrows. If, they, if you think they do look a little different, they do. I was shaping my eyebrows and cut a bit too much hair off, so I now have to do my eyebrows until that hair grows back. Um, for those of you who know me, I don't normally do my eyebrows, but here we are. So we're going to go in with the eyes first, like usual. I have my handy dandy headband here. It's super cute. I found this at Ulta for I think like, I don't remember the price, but it's super cute, super soft super cute <laughs> the we're gonna again we're gonna start with the eyes first we're going in with the Lorac um, eyeshadow primer I don't remember the actual name it looks like this I scratched all the wording off of here um, because I am a thing person who plays with things so we're going to do that There we go. Um, if I'm looking this way, it's because my mirror is here. So I can see. And I'm just going to place them on the eyelid. Today's look is going to be kind of super simple, kind of basic. Um, we're just using one shade of eyeshadow today. Um, yeah, just make it easy. Um, nothing again too difficult just something easy and fun to play with um if that is something you would like to do do it the one shadow eye looks are starting to become a huge thing especially like bold colors like blues reds purples pinks oranges um because i know sometimes those colors don't look great on everybody but again everybody lives their own truth and has their own self-confidence in their own way so let people do what they want with makeup there's no rules or regulations with makeup so that is the cool part um next we're going to be going in with the eyeshadow it is a single shadow from sephora in a matte color this shade is my dear nude um, it looks like this on me it's like a brown um, obviously a nude can be a brown um, but on other people it would either be really light to brown or really dark brown this is just like brown <laughs> and the brush we're using is the Real Techniques brush and the deluxe crease brush in this bad boy here it's just really dense and fluffy as you can see and then I'm just going to liberally apply it all over my lid and my crease. Just kind of everywhere. So far, I hope you guys are having a good 2022. Um, Again, I wish good things and happy things to you. You should follow your dreams and not follow other people's dreams. Follow what your heart thinks and not what your head thinks. Yes, yeah, sometimes your heart doesn't make you money. But do what you love, not what you have to do. I'm just going to apply a little bit more to the center of my lid. And then 
So I have weird eyes. I have pretty much like half hooded eyes, half normal eyes, and it's very hard to tell sometimes um, on myself. So that is literally it for the eyeshadow. I'm just going to leave it alone because for me it's brown. It works for an everyday look. It's just fine um, for that. Next, we're going to be going in with the face. We're going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, um, which is this. Um, I love this stuff. It feels like silicone, but I don't think that there's silicone ingredient in it. I did prep my lips, however. That's usually the very first thing that I do. Um, I usually use the Hunted Beauty's Essential Lipstick which is oil based instead of wax like normal chapstick would be um, but I can't find any right now <laughs> so it honestly is probably in my purse and that's the one place where I haven't looked um, I just love it because it just holds it stays on your lips longer and your lips don't get as cracked in the winter time that is smoothed out I already prepped my beauty blender this is the real techniques beauty blender it has the logo right there I don't know if you guys can see the logo I like these better because they're shaped and cut um, differently the company the beauty blender the pink ones are just so circular ones I believe they do have the shaped ones but when they originally came out with beauty blenders it was just the oval I like this one, plus when you make these wet, these expand bigger than the Beauty Blenders. Um, I have not tried other companies, I'm excited to do so. I am also <laughs> excited for new makeup coming up. Speaking of new makeup, I'm trying a new foundation. I don't think I've showed this to you guys on camera, but I've used this for a little bit. Um, I'm going to mispronounce this, it's the Ill maquillage maquillage it's this bad boy if you haven't seen this around this is a thing it is not a scam it is a thing <laughs> um it's pretty much where you take a quiz to see what type of foundation your skin can handle and you learn about your undertones and all sorts of cool stuff so it's foundation customized to you I like it. I think it's great for me. I, it works with all the season changes so I don't have to continue to swap out foundation or continue to mix two different foundations to get the right shade. This is it. <laughs> it works for me. It might not work for you and that's okay. Makeup, certain makeups is not for everybody and everybody is not for certain makeups. And then when I blend my foundation in, I'm going to blend from the center of my face to the outer portions of my face. And the reason why I'm doing that is when people look at you, people like symmetry. And they look at the center of things first. So when they look at you, they look at the center of your face first, not the side of your face, not, you know, anything else. So when you blend your makeup, you blend from the center on out, and then you smooth it all out as you go. Just gonna keep blending. Oh, these things are so soft. It's and they're cute. I have a cherry one, and one of my friends has a gray one with like polka dots on it. It's they're really cute and really soft. I'm pretty sure you can get them anywhere, honestly. 
But the two that I got, I got it at Ulta. Then I'm just going to hit underneath my eyes because I have green undertones. So sometimes the green shows up as green and purple. So it looks like I have a black eye sometimes. So I just like to do it under my eye for everything. Again, might not work for you. It might work for you. Do what you want with your own makeup. Speaking of black eyes, <laughs> I was going to film last week, but I didn't because, and I'm not lying, and no, I don't get abused or anything, um, a door hit my face <laughs> last Sunday. And I had a nice big bruise right here. And at first you couldn't tell because again when I opened my eyelid it it like the bruise like disappeared. But when I closed my eyelid the bruise was there. So it was like on my eyelid and under my eyebrow. It is almost gone. It's mostly my skin tone now, so like yellow green ish. But it was green purple. Um, but yeah. So that kind of set me back a little bit. Because it really looked like I got hit in the face. And I promise you. Well by a person. I promise you I didn't get hit in the face by a person. Well I guess it was. Because a person opened the door. So but it was an accident. The person apologized. No hard feelings. Moving on with life. Uh, next we're going to be using some translucent powder. Um, the translucent powder I'm using is the Cody Airspun translucent powder. Um, this isn't bad. I like the other stuff that I have better, but this will work. This particular one I like to take a little bit and blend it, uh, blend it in just a tiny bit right here, and then I'm gonna go add an add concealer. I know this is a little backwards, but for me, it stays right where it's at. So I'm adding just a little bit under the eye, but it, it forces my makeup to stay right where it's at. I'm adding just a tiny bit. there. So I'm going to blend this out and then go back how I normally would with powder. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes when I do this, it does look a little cakey right underneath the eyes. Not even going to lie. Um, but, sometimes it doesn't. And you just have to blend until you can't tell. So, like, like this one is a little cakey because of that but typically as you guys know I usually film and then go to bed so I'm not that worried about it um, and then I'm going to apply and blend that out and then I'm going to conceal the rest of my face a little white under my eyes but 
usually at the end it's fine. So I'm concealing my nose all the way down. It's not. There we go. My cupid's bill and my chin a little bit. Then I'm going to blend with the long part of the sponge on my nose. And in my cupid's bow. And then usually I'd either do the pointed or the flat end of the sponge for my chin. And then some more powder. Again, blending that in and not kind of letting, blending and letting it sit. I'm going to try not to get setting powder at my lips because that's what makes my lips dry. Okay, as that is sitting, we're going to go on to some bronzer. And we're going to use this brush here. So the bronzer we're using today is the Rimmel London's Natural Bronzer, um, one of my favorites, as you guys know. It's the shade 022 Sun Bronze. As you can see, I have hit pan already, but there is a whole lot more left. So we're going to do that. Take some bronzer. Pat the excess off. And bronze away. I don't like to contour and then bronze my face. Um, I'm just not a contour person, and that's fine. One day I will get there. Um, today is not the day, <laughs> but one day we'll get there. And then under or on my jawline. That is it. I'm not going to do blush. I have so many blushes. I just. I just don't like them. I just don't use them. I don't need them. They're nice. I don't... I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> so we're going to do mascara, um, lips, where is my, my lips, and this and highlighter. Here it is. So we're going to do mascara next. We're using the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. Um, this lovely thing here this is one of my favorite mascaras besides the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, I don't know, there's just something about it that works. Oh, another one of my favorite mascaras, and I might get some comments on this, it's... I believe it's from Milk Makeup, and the name is Kush Mascara. I have to double check that. I will correct myself if that is wrong in the comment section. Um, so yeah, my goal, 
for 2022 is to try newer makeup if if makeup can be expensive if I can get a hold of it not gonna you know go bankrupt buying makeup because it's the newest thing whatever I can get a hold of is fine if I can't then I'm not gonna worry about it I do have makeup that is new to me that is not new to the market that I have not tried yet so maybe we'll just do that um, I do have some other goals like I want to travel more and I want to obviously do more videos and do more fun things with my life so we will see how 2022 goes <laughs> mascara is done I always look different with mascara on like who is this what is this what is going on like what is happening <laughs> so next we're going to be going in with some lipstick this is the Lorac Los Angeles lipstick it's from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection this is at least a couple years old yes I still have it yes it's pretty good yes i love this <laughs> stuff so it looks like this and then the shade name is sparrow if you can see it is double ended with a mirror this is the lipstick side this is the um lip gloss side and the nice thing is like you can pull it and then like put your lipstick on with the mirror so the lipstick is a normal full-size lipstick it's just comes out of that side and then it looks like that so it's just clear um, I'm not gonna use lip liner today because I don't have one that matches this shade this is like a brown gray shade with a hint of purple so it's kind of cool I'm just going to apply it like normal. I will say this has some coverage to it. Like, I cannot see my lip underneath it. It does make your teeth yellow. <laughs> so if you have naturally yellow teeth, which some people have just because that's their anatomy, it makes your teeth more yellow looking like my teeth um, so here we are <laughs> so but that's fine it is what it is and I almost because it does have that brown shade it matches the eyeshadow and they almost look the same because of that so it's like that illusion of looking like that next we're gonna do some um, just powdered foundation and we're using the one and only pure cosmetics powdered foundation for that the brush I'm using again is another real techniques brush it is the buffing brush so if I were to have liquid foundation I would just buff this brush with that but I'm not so I'm just gonna take my powdered foundation and where I applied that translucent powder just wipe and apply the foundation in those areas and then just dab my whole face yes I go on top of my bronzer it's just to even out my face just a tiny bit
and then down my neck if you can. And then some highlighter, my favorite part. I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this highlighting brush. Again, I still don't know the name of it. It's this cute little pink brush. I'm pretty sure this is from Walmart. It was given to me as a gift. Um, again, don't know where it came from. And then the highlighter we're using is the Pure Cosmetics Afterglow. It is this one here. You open it up and it looks like this. I think this was supposed to be a dupe for one of the other fancier ones. I'm not a makeup company, so I don't know. Then I'm just going to apply it here. It does show up, and it's quite shiny. Apply it to my other cheekbone. I literally forgot the name of what it was called. I love highlighter, but I don't want to look like a shiny tin man. I'm good on that. So, that is that. Normally, I would use, there's something in my face, and I can feel it. Normally, I would use this bad boy here. This is the Maybelline long lasting fix spray up to 16 hours however again as those of you know i film at night time so i usually film upload go to go to bed so i do not spray this on my face because it, it will come off but it just takes a lot of scrubbing <laughs> if i were to do that if i were to do this in the morning and at the end of the day then it's not as bad but yeah i'm not gonna do that that then is the end of the video go check out the links down below some of the websites have been updated with newer product there's new information there's more information down below go check those out i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great and i hope you had a great start to 2022 so far it's a new year um and i hope you guys continue to have a great year i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>